Welcome back everybody to another episode of We'll Vlog for, for Food. I'm Josh. I'm Tim. And this is the show where we take you anywhere. And everywhere. To find the greatest places to eat. Where are we today, Tim? We are at Chapels. Chapels, where is that? I honestly don't remember. North Kansas City. That's good you I, remember. I think. <laughs> it's the largest privately owned sports memorabilia collection. It is a museum that serves good food. This place is filled, it is chock full of memories of all of the different sports events through the years, all the way back to what, the first Super Bowl even, before yeah. that. It's not just football, but it's also baseball, it's boxing, it's fishing. There's stuff for tennis. Yeah, tons. Inside this huge glass case, there is a similarly smaller glass case containing a baseball signed by Babe Ruth himself. This right here is a Heisman Trophy from 1956. Fisher's joining us today. Say hi, Fisher. Hello, Fisher. So let's eat some food. There's a lot. There's a Reuben here. There's a French dip. We got some grilled salmon. We've got a 323 burger, which looks amazing. There's like this, I don't know, there's got a bacon jam on there, and then we've got blackened chicken with like a white cheddar, I want to say, white cheese sauce with grilled peppers and steak soup is what this is. It looks super good. Let's just dig into something. Dig into the corned beef Reuben. It's got sliced corned beef grilled with sauerkraut, Swiss cheese, Thousand Island dressing, and served on marbled rye. And then this particular order is served with sweet potato fries. Mmm. Yeah, it's definitely like a, <laughs> it's like an mean? Asian vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Are you sure that we need to taste anything else? <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, that's super good. That is so good. Um, well, for one, I love corned beef. Uh, there's a lot in there. They stuff it full. I don't know if you could see how much was coming out of my mouth whenever I took a bite. But sauerkraut and Thousand Island dressing, you know, it's got sauerkraut's got like a little bit of a bite. You know what I appreciate? Mm. So uh, a lot of Reubens I'll get, they'll like toast the bread, but it'll be like really dry, crumbly, sort of mm -hmm. like powderizes the bread. But this, it's like very coherent in it. And it's like, like it makes a wrap. Yeah, it makes it, it, it contains it very nicely. It doesn't just like dissolve as you're eating it. You don't get crumbs all over yourself and the food. Really good. Okay, I wanna try the salmon right now. Yeah. I apologize, you'll have to forgive me because I am burning up right now. Because, you know, this this thing happens when I'm about to eat food, you know, I kind of warm up like an oven, you know, right before you put the, uh, like the oven in the microwave. <laughs> right before you put the food in the oven, you know, like the oven is about to eat the food and I'm about to eat some food, so I'm warming up too. Okay, so I'm about to eat the grilled salmon. It is charbroiled and lightly seasoned with herbs and spices and I'm gonna try a big bite right now. Whoa, I got broccoli with it. That's good. Is it? Yeah. I love salmon. I'm going to try some of this mashed potatoes now. Wow, that's some chunky mashed potatoes. Those are pretty good too, actually. Very buttery. Okay, I'm excited for this. My name is Fisher. That's for a reason. Mmm. Mmm, smoky. Mmm. It's really, really good. Mm. It's a nice, like, crisp outer shell yeah. of it. And then inside, it's really juicy. That's some good salmon. Whoa. Mmm. Okay. Wow. I just took a bite that was very, very seasoned. It was like that bite took a couple of my taste buds and went. I don't know. <laughs> Interpret that as you will. <laughs> it seems like almost an identical dish, but it's not because it's chicken. It's not fish. This is Cajun chicken. Grilled chicken breast seasoned with Cajun spices, topped with provolone cheese and sauteed peppers and onions, served with choice of potato and veggie of the day but they have the same mashed potatoes and the same roasted and lightly seasoned vegetables with herbs and spices on this side too. I wanna to try some of these because we've got your mashed potatoes here and then you've got your chunky potatoes over here too. And they taste completely different. And I think this has a kick. I love chicken with a kick. Let's try it. I'm literally cutting into this with a spoon. What is wrong <laughs> with me right now? Mm. That's some juicy chicken. Not, that is not what I was expecting it to taste like, actually. Yeah, it's like a different cake. So this provolone cheese is melted all over. <laughs> what? But you're oh, spoon to cut it. again. Stop it. <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, I've never thought of putting provolone cheese on chicken like this, and it works but I'm having a really hard time figuring this out. I really like this dish, but it's, I'm not used to it, but it's good, but I'm having a hard time processing it. 
but it's so good. I don't know. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. No, I it get does. it. I get this. Okay. Because I definitely taste that kick, and that's yeah. really, really good. So this is a piece of chicken that looks like it has everything on it. So I don't even need to work that hard. Cool. Hmm. That. That's real good. I'm not getting that kick that you guys are talking about. The flavors on this dish are subtle. That's what I that I can describe them as. From the Cajun flavor to the provolone, everything is just a nice, subtle, tight dish. It's not a, a dish that's gonna like blast your taste buds away with flavor, but it's still really quite good. And the chicken is very, very juicy, and I appreciate it. I am a lover of French dips. I love them. They are fantastic. So they actually call this the prime rib dip. It's tender prime rib topped with sweet cheese and served with a side of au jus and creamy horseradish. Now, uh, obviously the horseradish is usually spread across it. It seems like a sim... I gotta get my water with three lemons. That's Sorry. great. What you have to realize is a lot of times people will give lackluster prime rib or it won't actually be prime rib. This place makes its claim that they use prime rib exclusively. It's called this the prime rib dip. Wait, 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 Tim. Before we think it, I have to put fries in mine. Because no, 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 no. Try Not it yet. First. Try it, try what it. What the hell? How it is intended first, and then you put the fries in. Ding. Wait, wait. No, no. Try it on its own. But we're, it's a French dip. Try it on its own. Okay. Mm. Okay, that is good. Oh. That's juicy. However it was made, that flavor is permeating through the entire prime rib, the entire sandwich. Mm. This is just on its own. So now we need, oh my gosh, we're dropping food everywhere. Get the au jus. <laughs> what else is new? Okay. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right, right off the bat. So good. I think that this is probably one of the best French dips that I've had, personally. That au jus is so good. It softens the whole experience just enough, and it, I don't know how to describe it. It's just enough, this whole thing has just enough saltiness to like the flavor of the, of the prime rib and the au jus. I'm doing it. Do it. Keep talking. But really, uh, what really brings it all together is the, uh, the the cheese. Honestly, I I firmly believe that the flavor of the Swiss in the background there is like the perfect compliment. Here, let's switch places and you can try it. <laughs> what a bite! Mm. Holy cow! Yeah, right. So savory. Oh yeah, dude. That. I want to drink that. This is the three two three burger topped with bacon, Swiss blue cheese crumbles, arugula, grilled onions, and horseradish sauce. Horse radish, horse, horse radish sauce. Horse. Horse radish sauce. Horse radish sauce. No. Why is that so hard to say? Horse radish sauce. Horse radish sauce. What the heck? Horse. horse. <laughs> what animal is this? Horse radish sauce. Okay, let's say it five times. Horse radish sauce. <laughs> horse radish sauce. I don't know. Sure, I guess. <laughs> that, that was, was a, sound. That was a wow. cool sound, man. That's a, that's a hefty bun. The other side of this bun is not so hefty. You have a cut of diagonal. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> oh, Josh. Mm. Whoa. That has a nice crisp outside. Mm-hmm. This is bite and it's tender. Mm. Mm. That is just, whoa. Blue cheese. I got the problem. Yeah, the, got the blue the, cheese. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Got it, got it. Mm. Wow, this is swimming with flavor. Holy cow. There is so much flavor in this burger. And it's like not all savory. It's, there's like a nice, good, sweet flavor to it. You know why they call this the 323 burger? Because it's swimming with 323 species of flavors. I just, I made that up. It's actually just the address. But that could also be another way. Perfect, it's perfect medium burger. I haven't had a burger that good in a while. Mmm, that is incredible. We're gonna eat some steak soup. Hearty, thick soup loaded with chunks of tender beef, veggies, spices, and a touch of burgundy wine. I need okay, a, we piece get, we steak, a piece of steak. Green, green beans. Uh, I've got a ooh, carrot. This carrot. Oh, I got a carrot. Whoa, not the texture I was expecting. Mm -mm. That steak is so tender. Holy cow! It feels like a mashed potato, but like with like yeah. stringiness to it. You know, they, they they nailed it when they said hearty. Yeah, and creamy. Is. I, I don't know how to say it. I was thinking it, it was gonna be like the soup part. Of it was gonna be thicker, but whenever right. it's in your mouth, it's not. Yeah, mm. you know what? The green beans and the carrots have the same texture as the steak in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's super disorienting, but really? it's really good. I need to get more of just like the, the broth real quick. Nice pepper. It's got a good pepper. It's like a brown gravy kind of a, yeah. Kind of yeah, a flavor. Yeah, that's exactly good. Yeah. That's really good. Mm -hmm. 
soup. <laughs> Wow, that's really, 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 really tender. Also not what I was expecting. It's very hard to eat soup with a knife. <laughs> mm. This is such, I don't know, it's like such an easy dish to eat. This soup is gonna be so good this weekend when it snows six inches. You need to try some of these curly fries with me. Why do they call them curly fries? I have no idea. I'm sure there's a good reason. Yeah, we should figure that out someday. So Fisher, you are the most sportsy person out of all three of us. What do you think about like the boats and the fish and stuff? I love fish. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? So sorry. There's a lot of cool things that are in this museum slash restaurant. Uh, they really want to incorporate that, that vibe. They want it to be a museum first, then it happens to sell food. Everything, you can walk around, you can look at everything. This right here, Rocky Sylvester Stallone. This is what he wore on the movie. We got basketball, baseball, football, fishing, hunting. Oh yeah, skating too. Hockey. That's a large mouth there. I'm trying to pose. So I gotta tell you about this guy right here. This guy right here is the original owner, Jim Chapel. He still comes in all the time. So a quick backstory about all these helmets and Jim. He read one time in an article that some guy had the world record for like the most helmets ever collected and it was like a thousand. And he saw that and he was like, I'm gonna beat that. And he got a thousand and one and more. <laughs> so today we actually ate in their private dining section. They actually have a separate space for private dining. You can eat privately. Eat privately. Lots of memorabilia back here. Pictures and frames and animals on the walls. Really cool and inviting. So that was Chapels. We had a grand time. I feel very short. I'm very like I'm between <laughs> you guys. You like it. Loved it. It was great. Yeah? You guys need to come check this place out if you haven't already yet. It's in, like in North KC. It's on Armor Road. Make sure you come and check it out. It's definitely worth it if you've never been here before. Also, there's this really kind of cool like Main Street thing going on. There's a lot of attractions up and down the street. So there's plenty to look at aside from just this awesome museum restaurant place thing to have. If you haven't already yet, please subscribe to us here on YouTube. Hit that notification bell if you haven't already yet and you will get up-to-date updates every single time we come out with an episode every single week tim is helping me hold my arm up because my arm is getting tired today <laughs> follow us on, on instagram twitter and like our page on facebook for updates we are also found on patreon i love patreon it's a wonderful way for us to get involved with you guys but also vice versa there are some cool benefits waiting for you here on this uh website there's giveaways every month, free t-shirts. There's just a lot of cool things. Go check it out. You don't want to miss out. Anyways, that is it for this episode of Will Vlog, Vlog for food. food. Thank you so much for watching and until next time. Chill out and, and feast. feast. I'm flavorfully woke. <laughs> I taste everything. <laughs> I taste every molecule of this corned beef ruin.